How you doing, guys? I'm Sean. Hi, everybody. I'm Lynn. I hope you're having an absolutely fabo day today. Absolutely bling bling. A bling of a glitzy day today. Glitzy day today. <laughs> guys, today's video we're going to talk about pyrite, also known as fool's gold. And uh, we actually think it's a wonderful mineral. Oh, and, it's uh, absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? It really is just a glitzy, glitzy crystal. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, saying that it's about to be a crystal of mineral, it's actually an iron sulphide. And it comes in different forms. It can, it's usually found even in big chunks, in big crystals like this, or little crystal clusters. Um, also, as little cubic like that or big cubic like that but it comes in many different forms and it's found all over the world so pyrite is in all different countries and you get some beautiful beautiful specimens now obviously why it was called fool's gold it was obviously because years ago miners when they were looking for gold they actually saw fool's gold and quite understandably thought it was gold because it looked so similar and of course it wasn't it was really disappointed and of course the nickname of fool's gold for pyrite took on and people they would have killed each other at their gold rush in the, the 1840s the 1850s in america and i suppose gold rush is anywhere throughout the world but especially the big uh, the california gold rush in the, the 1840s the old 49ers um you know everybody was trying to make you know you know their their stake on the land and actually gets out of poverty and of course when they were all gold mining and they came across a piece like that of course they they thought that was it that was their life we made, found so. gold yeah, Peter, <laughs> this one here is actually real gold and this one here yeah is. <laughs> that would be good if it was real gold we wouldn't be sitting here now anyway we'd be like glitzing the life of uh the life of Riley. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what uh, real gold looks like apart from uh, wee rings, but you can imagine how easy it would be for somebody to uh, mistake it for. I wonder if they're an opposite though, like fool's gold, fool's uh, parrot. Yeah, that's what fool's pyrite. <laughs> That'd be good if you see it the way around, wouldn't you? Thinking you've got a load of pyrite. So look at all this pyrite. We could be sitting imagine here. Imagine waking up one morning there are billions bit, worth of gold. <laughs> 40 years from now that uh, we pass over until spirit and somebody comes to their funeral. And looks at that piece of pyrite and goes, look at the size of a piece of gold. Not just one of the best. I know, I know. Wouldn't Not that be really. wonderful? Well, wouldn't Maybe be wonderful too late after. <laughs> but anyway, back to the point here, guys. Doesn't it? It's actually used as to say people would would use it for different things. You know our story. It's up to you to sit and work with a crystal or a mineral and find out what way it resonates. Us personally, we find it a very grounding stone, but a very protective stone. And it's something you can't really hold on to for so long because of the oils in your hand as a reaction to it and it'll start discolouring but uh, basically it's a great one to have around you hold you can actually put it inside like a piece of um, cotton and then that way your, your oil isn't transferring over to onto the the pyrite great one for meditating with and grounding with actually it's a brilliant one for grounding and of course it's a probably pretty obvious one when you think about it when when from feng shui it's often used for wealth with citrine because obviously looking at it it's like money and wealth but you know anything that it makes does you, make you feel good, it does make you feel really good and if you put it in your purse alongside a piece of citrine your purse will certainly never be empty and it'll always feel heavy anyway <laughs> so it, it is it is an absolute great one but like you say if you carry it on you probably a good idea is to carry either in your purse or in your bag or in a pocket don't sort of wear it as jewelry now you do sometimes see pyrite as jewelry you see rings and necklaces and bracelets but i find from my experience with the oils in the skin it does tend to leave a bit of a brown mark like sometimes silver would do it does a similar thing because it's an iron sulfide and it can sort of react so it's not probably a good one for holding on too long time in the hands if you're meditating with you probably a bit it, with green ears like yeah if you're meditating with it probably best to put it over clothing and of course even if you put it on the third eye not a piece that big obviously a small piece like like this say um then probably put it over something like like a, a cloth or something like that just so it doesn't stain the skin but it's a beautiful one and i said it comes in many different forms one of the most beautiful forms of pyrite is the sunbursts we haven't got a piece ourselves but they are very very beautiful if you can find them out look up google images they're beautiful big like big big flowers and they're amazing pieces like real flowers like. they do actually look like a lovely big huge flower absolutely beautiful I'll be Google searching that tonight. Then, <laughs> the cracker. So when you're sitting working, obviously these are two uh, pieces of pyrite here, and they've been tumbled 
And you can see because they say the parade is a cubic um, shape, the structure, so they all start building on the top of each other. But this one here has been tumbled, these two. Um, I've had them years now, and basically it's just like, when I was sitting going out, going like that. Now, obviously, why they're, they're discoloured because of the oils and over the years of constantly using them, just very therapeutic. But the pyrite, the fool's gold reminds me to ground myself. Do you know what I mean? That everything is not greener on the other side. The grass is not greener on the other side. And people thinking, you know, oh, this is gold. This is going to change my life. And in reality, they do things um, to get that piece of gold that they think. And it ends up it's nothing. It's just pyrite. So when I'm working with an issue in my life or an issue in my mind that I want to probably get straight to the point with it and ground myself and ground the ego. I believe pyrite is one of the best ones that I use personally um, to keep my ego under control because we've all got an ego and we all like to, you know, probably elevate it from time to time. But pyrite reminds me, and I think it is symbolic because of the full school aspect. It reminds me that, you know, we should love our, ourselves for who we are, what we've got in life, certainly achieve other things or aspire to achieve other things. But let's not uh, cloud the issue and uh, wrap things up into something that they're really not. So Pyrite is a great one for me for grounding and uh, get myself focused. And it is like a big armour plating because the big goldness of it, it's just like, it's so protective. It's just like wearing a big piece of armour, isn't it? It is a Put wonderful a stone for protection, a for psychic bubble. protection and everything. It is really, really gorgeous. Wonderful. It's just absolutely amazing. And you sometimes find pyrite growing inside other crystals. Well, sometimes clear quartz, you find tiny bits of pyrite growing inside. And of course, some of you may be familiar with lapis lazuli. Um, you get tiny specks of pyrite in there as well, which gives it a lovely sparkly effect and we'll do a video on lapis lazuli like a later date that's another lovely mineral but pyrite you get the energies of air in as well so you sometimes see it in other minerals as well and clear quartz but so you this is uh, as well it's gorgeous isn't it you know what i'm saying when i was saying about carrying them on your possession and things like that get yourself we tumbled uh pieces off and they are great and you can put them inside a wee crystal pouch and just have them on you and sit and uh, you know squeeze and put the energy into it and that's that's a protection Beautiful. Awesome. So there you go, guys. There's a wee quick uh, rundown on pyrite, uh, fool's gold. But if you, you know have it around the house, you say if you have it around the house, people might you might sort of go disappearing if people think it's gold. So <laughs> bling bling. Bling bling. <laughs> and then you could be uh, showing off to people. And if you wanted to uh, play a trick on someone, you're turning to say it's a piece of gold. No, don't tell them that because somebody might break into your house and uh, or rob you. For a piece of uh, fool's gold. I know. know. <laughs> Not worth it. Guys, that's no use go. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to us here on YouTube. You can also check out our other channel, um, Dreaming of Avalon Meditation. And you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And we've also got another channel on all about crystals. And you may be watching this here. And if you are, get over to the other channel, Dreaming of Avalon. <laughs> <laughs> subscribe to both. But like, I'm myself grounded here and try to... <laughs> oh, it's certainly like a heavy. <laughs> there you go, guys. Listen, send you love from Ireland, and uh, thanks very much for watching. Thank you all so much, and you loads of love and happiness as always from Ireland. And until the next video, bye. See you later, guys.